Today, we will discuss why interior designers matter. Economics is a social science that analyzes the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services. So, what is economic well-being? Basically, it's having a stable and even thriving economy locally, regionally, and globally. So you're probably asking yourself what interior designers have to do with this. We, like many other professions, have researchers that work hard to figure out how to design spaces to make your quality of life better. Where do these researchers come from? Well, honey, when two people fall in love with each other... Oh wait, scratch that. You mean, how do they get their jobs? Well, that's where that little piece of paper comes in handy that everyone frames and hangs in their office. At school, you learn how to seek out and prevent problems in our built environment. Without an education, you can get stuck in a box without any means of escape. An education allows you to climb out of that box and find solutions that benefit society when interacting in these spaces. Many people don't realize, but interior design impacts you on a daily basis. Without the knowledge gained from an interior design degree, you are left with a bare box that hinders daily interactions. These negative impacts on your psyche prohibit you from experiencing interior spaces as they were intended. Therefore, you as a consumer are less likely to revisit and more likely to take your business someplace else. Well-educated designers know how to draw consumers in and keep them coming back for more. Not only do students learn interior design, but are educated on branding, research, communication, and even psychology. All of these things help designers make evidence-based decisions, which can help support the foundation for a strong economy. Have you ever realized you go to the same local coffee shop, even though it's a little bit pricier than you wanted? Ever wonder why that is? Well, it's probably because that company hired a licensed designer to create an inviting experience that you would want to come back to. Your customer loyalty to the coffee shop supports the local economy, which boosts the regional economy and ultimately the globe. Without an interior design education, not only would you be stuck in a sterile box, but your economy would suffer too. For example, a poorly designed workplace can make you more likely to call in sick, or actually become sick, quit your job, or even worse, becoming an unproductive employee which could snowball into the loss of the company demise of the related organizations and partners of that company, and more drastically causing the local economy and jobs to crumble. What happens when there are no more interior designers? The end of the line. The economy suffers, and the economic well-being is not well at all. It's stuck in that square, boring box. Not to worry, interior designers to the rescue. We are taught how to create an environment that not only makes users comfortable, productive, and happy, but economically stable. We fight to keep businesses in business, Great spaces, exceptional experiences, and creative ideas can help to mold a greater local, regional, and global economy. That's why we matter.